So what did you think of his his comments towards other comics? You being a stand-up comedian, and it's like an industry in its own. And he did take shots at some other black comedians, and maybe he did it out of spite. Maybe he did it to shed some light to some truth that's been kind of foggy. Like, what's your take on just the way he approached about kind of, you know, commenting on other stand-up comics? Well, you know, my take on it is 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 this. Okay, Cat Williams went up there, said what he said, whether you believe it or you not. He, as an influencer and a content creator, mm -hmm. he basically gave a lot of comedians and influencers content to to reuse, to, to, to be able to talk about comedians who maybe weren't so relevant were relevant again because they had to respond. Mm. So really, if you think about it, he basically energized the Internet. Mm. OK, just by that one interview with Shannon Sharp. And yeah. so it trickled down all the way into ticket sales for everybody so my take on it was it was it, it was a great move and i just felt like for the beginning of the year it was needed mm. uh uh just for the the, the pure uh uh just for creating content like it it, it just helped the movement wow that's fascinating <laughs> It was kind of like an octopus. It it had so many avenues. Think about from it. it. Yeah. Good. Anybody name anything that he that, that he mentioned, whether yeah. it was whether it was negative or positive, ha there had to be a response to right. that. And so you basically helped every other platform. Mm -hmm. You helped Willie D's platform. You you it, yeah. and it and it, it kept, kept going kept going and kept going yeah. and. You you know, Mike Epps was joking, but was he really joking? You know, right. when he said, I wish he had said, I'm trying to sell these tickets too because uh, <laughs> if he missed you and gave you something that you had to respond to. Yeah. And even if he didn't talk about you, people still, there. in the next six months, you're not going to have an interview or a stage that doesn't have at least something to do with that Cat Williams Cat interview. Williams. So think about that, the longevity of that yeah. for months and months and months to come. Like it was basically... He he gave money away he did. in the, wow. in the best way that he could. My, I but saw, Shannon Sharp, hey, because I know oh I, I know what the uh, what those numbers show because yeah. I do it. So it's like wow, yeah, you know, just so, on YouTube alone. Ooh, I mean, I know he went, and that's without the cuts, the the the, 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 the repurposing, right? Yeah, yeah. But everybody else ate too. Mm. Think about it though, because now here's a response video. Here's a it it, it just and it's gonna go on and, and on and, and, and on. comics use response formula on their actual stand-ups. Yes. Michael Blackson just did. Like, he had a response when he had a stand-up towards uh, Cat yeah. Williams. Well, he was frying Cat Williams. So that's good. All of it, all of it works negative or positive. It all works. Now my story is more relevant now mm. <laughs> uh, than it was even back then. That was three years ago that he right. told me about that. So just think about it. But I got a good Cat Williams story, and I'm pretty mm. sure there's some. Some got good, some got bad. Right. But people want to hear it now where well, they might not have wanted to hear it uh, yeah. before that interview. Wow. And last thing, I bet people even went back and rewatched the Steve Harvey show For and like sure. stuck like, on the screen. Wow. Like, is it, is it really a damn? They're the glue right there. There damn. it is, bro. Like real talk. You know what I'm saying? And it's just. I think it was great for comedy. Yeah. 